At ImageWorks, we've been doing dental imaging for a long time, and as comb beam scanning has grown in popularity, we've noticed that most comb beam systems on the market were lacking something really important for a lot of doctors. The thing they were lacking was really good 2D imaging. These systems appear to make the assumption that once a dental professional installed a 3D modality in their office, they would suddenly have little need for high-resolution panoramic scans, cephalometric scans, extraoral bite wings, and FMX studies. As a result, the 2D imaging modalities of these cone beams were shortchanged in the designs by using suboptimal or lower performing sensors. The problem with this is that cone beam system is an investment, and if you're making that investment, you need a cone beam that does more than just create great cone beams. Our Xera cone beam platform is designed for those dental professionals who need fantastic 3D capabilities, but they also need fantastic 2D capabilities in that same machine. Our goal is to help the dental professional maximize all of the modalities that the cone beam can provide, not just the 3D scan. So I wanted to share some more specifics about how the Xera accomplishes this for so many dental professionals. First, of course, it takes great cone beam volumes. So I wanted to share a few points on this. Our manufacturing partner is a globally respected Japanese company called Yoshida. And everything you think about Japanese manufacturing absolutely applies to this platform. It has a track record to be a workhorse for your practice for years. The Xera cone beam system from Imageworks has a 0.2 millimeter focal spot. To our knowledge, this is the smallest focal spot in the world for a dental cone beam. Smaller focal spots relate to higher edge sharpness of the object that's being scanned. The Xera offers multiple fields of view, going all the way up to as big as 16 centimeters wide. This means that if needed, a scan could be done that captures both TMJ condyles in a single scan. The 3D software is incredibly intuitive and comes with full implant planning capabilities. This software will put a wealth of information at your fingertips. Second, you'll have a cone beam system that doesn't just phone it in for the panoramic and cephalometric x-rays. What I mean by that is it has a dedicated separate direct conversion sensor that's optimized for 2D imaging. Let me explain. Most cone beam systems perform their panoramic scan using the cone beam sensor. Why? Because it reduces cost. The system only needs one sensor, therefore it costs the manufacturer less. Here's the problem with this approach. These 3D sensors are flat panel sensors, and a flat panel sensor uses a material that is not sensitive enough to convert that 2D x-ray directly into a strong signal. To overcome this weak signal, an intensifier or scintillator screen is used to boost that weak signal. The problem with this approach is that all the noise in the signal is also boosted. This degrades the image quality. It's like turning up the volume on an AM radio station. The music may not sound great. The Xera includes an additional sensor that is dedicated and optimized for 2D imaging. This sensor is a direct conversion sensor. Here's what that means. The direct conversion sensor is sensitive enough to provide a great digital signal without any additional boosting required. The result is less noise, which equates to a clearer image. The third advantage of the Xera also relates back to this direct conversion sensor because it gives a secret superpower to the dental professional that's using it for their panoramic scans. It's the unique ability to capture many focal planes in a single scan. This can be really valuable toward getting more information from a single panoramic x-ray. Let me first explain a fundamental challenge of positioning patients for any panoramic scan. For a panoramic x-ray scan, there's an arc in space where that x-ray beam is focused. This is sometimes referred to as the focal plane or a focal trough. The goal of the operator is to try to get the anatomy they are interested in, in this case the patient's arch, as closely lined up with that focal plane as possible. This is to allow the machine to generate the best image that it can possibly generate. As you can imagine, there are all kinds of challenges to getting this lined up exactly. The patient could have unique anatomy that doesn't exactly match the focal plane of the system. The patient may not have been positioned correctly. Even if the patient had been positioned correctly, in the three to five seconds between the operator leaving the side of the patient to walk out of the room and initiate the scan, perhaps the patient shifted by five millimeters forward or eight millimeters backward. In any of these cases, the anatomy won't be in the place the machine wants it to be, and the result can wind up being a suboptimal panoramic x-ray. Certain anatomy may be distorted, or it may be washed out. It may not even exist at all in the image. 
And so this is how most panoramic modalities work, whether they're a normal 2D pan only or the panoramic modality on a cone beam system. However, the pano sensor in the X-Era cone beam has a secret power to help the operator overcome these challenges. Every time a panoramic scan is done, the sensor actually captures over 50 different focal planes in an envelope around where the patient is positioned. All of this data is brought into the software, and the software will identify the optimal pano to present. It's also worth noting that all of these focal planes are captured automatically behind the scenes, so there's no clicking or futzing or adjusting to find the right focal plane. Nor is there any additional scan time or radiation. The operator wouldn't even know that it was happening in the background. The result of all of this is that while the sensor is a very high firepower sensor to begin with, this multifocal plane capture capability means that the staff can still achieve fantastic images even when conditions and technique are less than perfect. There's actually one additional benefit of this multifocal plane capture capability, and it's a little more subtle. As I mentioned, all of the focal planes are captured, but only one focal plane is, is presented as the normal workflow. However, all of these other focal planes are still available to the operator, and they may provide a wealth of additional information from that single scan. Here's how it worked. As I mentioned, the normal workflow to take a pan is very straightforward to the operator because the patient is scanned and the software presents a pano on the screen. The operator clicks OK and it goes right into the imaging software the office is using. Could be Dexis or EagleSoft or CareStream or what have you. And you're done. That's it. However, you can look deeper and send other focal plane panos into the software without ever having to scan the patient again. For instance, the interiors, because they typically have a very angled emergence profile, could sometimes be further optimized depending on the patient. You essentially have over 50 different panos from that single 14 second scan, and you can send as many as you want into the imaging software that you choose. And you're done with the patient. You're not doing any more scanning. You send one pano that zeroes in on the apices of the mandible. You could send another pano that captures the apices of the maxilla, all from a single 2D scan. The fourth benefit I wanted to mention about the system is that it can complement an office's intraoral studies because the system can clip a, a full mouth series of intraoral size images directly from a panoramic scan. Now, we will never oversell this to say this is going to replace your intraorals. Our pano scans are very high resolution. However, there are laws of physics that enable intraoral sensors to be higher resolution. They're right up against the anatomy, hence they are intraoral, and they have a smaller field of view. However, where offices have really loved this feature is as a complement to their intraoral, their bite wings, and their periapicals, because you can create this study of 18 images in 14 seconds, so the workflow advantages are enormous. In addition, the other benefit of the FMX clipping is the radiation to the patient is dramatically less. A typical panoramic x-ray is going to be about 10 to 15 microsieverts of effective radiation. With 18 traditional intraorals, that make up an FMX, this study is going to be closer to about 150 to 180 microsieverts, about 10 times as much radiation to the patient. Lastly, and perhaps most important, the Xera comes with a team of experts at your fingertips that will train you and help you make the most of your investment for years to come. This is so critically important and there are a few data points I would like to share here. First, going back to Yoshida's track record for manufacturing, the most effective way to avoid problems is to make sure they don't show up in the first place. The track record of this platform and previous generations of this platform is that it just works for many years. You'll have a specialist in your office to provide hands-on training to make sure everyone is able to make the most of the system. This will be done upon installation. If there's ever a problem, a question, or something is just not working the way it's supposed to, our team has a track record for working very quickly to help you get questions answered and issues resolved. And by the way, this is true whether it be a month after install, a year after install, or five years after install. We have dental offices that deployed our solutions 15 years ago, and if they call us, we still help them. Well, I hope this was useful. It's well understood that adding a cone beam system to a dental practice will unlock an enormous treasure trove of information about their patients, and it will enable the doctor to perform new services like implants, but it offers so much more than this. When they implemented Nexera, 
we have heard our customers say many things like, I can now show my patients what I see so I can spend less time selling my diagnosis and more time practicing dentistry. They can now see the immediate needs of their patients as well as the longer term needs. This enables them to establish a more consultative and less transactional relationship with their patients. This in turn builds trust. Over time, this can fundamentally alter the nature of a dental practice by allowing the doctor to see less patients if they desire because they are more engaged with each one. They also learn at an exponential rate because they're seeing more day in and day out. And in time, this results in enormous learning potential. They make better decisions with less risk to enable better outcomes for their patient. And they reduce procedure time because there are just no more surprises. Well, I hope this was useful. If you're interested to learn more or have any questions, please fill out the form to schedule a 15-minute introduction with one of our specialists. Thanks for your time.